Really? My mom loves Bobo Bell. Hi, mom. Yeah, I'm the guest speaker of the marijuana convention. Crazy freaking day. At the New England Cannabis Convention, we had to go outside because it's crazy. There's so many people in there. Just hanging out with Bobo Bell, Mikey Adams, Chris Perone, Jeff Lawrence, Mark Fisher. They're just amazing people. Red Blaze right here. Thank you. Remember in the King of Pot, we're going to be throwing out some of his t-shirts. It's just, I'm friggin' so happy today. Happy, happy, happy. Good day. Next Saturday, uh, Bob Lobel is going to be on our show. Told me, officially, he's coming to the studio. I'm going to be giving him a call. What a week. Thank you, Boston. Boston weed, weed politics, young jerks. Check it out every Saturday. Dig Boston, Greenleaf Magazine, Freedom Leaf Magazine, Relief Magazine. You know where I'm at. Mike Cannon, YouTube, Daily Motion. Keep looking for us, Boston. Boston, where we Boston. happen. I'll film something with you. I was sure. asking why are you here this Oh, a lot of reasons. Uh, I'm here today because I recently bought this building. <laughs> That's bullshit. No. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, well, you know what it is? It's a modern world we're living in here, and it's, it's about time society caught up to what we've all known for 40, 50 years now, is that there's a therapeutic value to familiarizing yourself with anything that has to do with uh, cannabinoids or sativites. What are you putting in the words? Those are good yeah. words. Uh, are they all good Sativites, cannabinoids. It's natural. You know, it, it's not like uh, uh, opiates. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's important that the world catch up to this. From an economic, a government, a law, and a law and order perspective, let's just get our act together. Everybody can go forward from here and, and, and be happy. How's that? I agree. Mikey for president. That's right, 2020. Uh, uh, I have the perfect vision for 2020. You get it? 2020. <laughs> yeah, and guess what else? I got no uh, glaucoma either. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> Well, besides, Mary, 
sitting here? Oh, there's a seat there. There's a seat there. Uh, certainly curiosity brought me here, but I gotta tell you the truth. The last place I ever thought I'd be would be giving the keynote speech at a cannabis convention. I mean, think about it. When I walked in here, in here with a friend, we, we decided, I said, I just want to check it out, find out what, what's going on, and how close we are to finding uh, places to distribute the prescriptions that I have had written. I had a prescription written by my primary care doctor in Needham for, for cannabis. She knows that she had to send it to Oregon. My daughter lives in Oregon. She sent me all the paperwork uh, as to what she had to do. Filled out the paperwork, wrote him a check for $250, sent the doctor's prescription, which said, show some compassion, you know. And they said, well, I'm sorry, but you have to, as a physician, you have to be registered in Oregon. We can't process this. So they sent it back without the check, by the way. So at any rate, it, it was frustrating. You know, I've told people have told me, well, why don't you drive across the border? Why don't you go up to Maine? Why don't you go to Rhode Island? But you know, that? I don't want to have to sneak around and I want to do it so I can do it. I just want to have a one-shot deal. I know this. I know how much it helps me. I've been on these crutches for like five years. That's when I started. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to give them up. I know that. I know that's. That's my life from here on out, and I have to adjust. But the thing that's, I think, for anybody, the worst possible thing for anybody is pain. That is the great leveler, the great equalizer. Pain is a problem. Uh, I spent a lot of time in a pain clinic at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of inventions have happened, like pumps that they put under your skin that pump into your spinal cord to take the edge off the pain. I can only tell you this. I don't know what was in the cartridge that my daughter sent me from Oregon. However, she was she was specific to say, don't worry about it. You can drive after you do it. It's not going to have that effect. It's a pain issue. It's the stuff nobody wants. And it's the throwaway stuff. And she said, you know what? It just works. It just works. There are times at the bottom of my feet, I can't walk. I take it before I go to bed. Bingo, not a problem. It just, it just does the job. So I think that, in closing, thank you for listening to the keynote speech for the cannabis convention. That is, uh, that's the reason I was here. Hey, if I could get that from my daughter in Oregon, I surely could find something close to home. Can I, can I just ask a... Uh... I don't want you to blow the whistle on her about the mail, okay? Just leave her out of this. I'll take the responsibility. But can I, can I ask you, so you were fortunate enough to, uh, uh, finally to have a physician who was willing well, to prescribe. The first um, time I walked in, she's, you know, she's cool, she knew. She also didn't think I'd be able to get it, but she said, here it is, I'll write the prescription, go deal with it. But how about, and I don't want you to trash talk your doctors, but you've been around so many, I'm sure some of the best physicians in the city with the best physicians. I, what is it like, especially someone like you, that I'm sure they're excited to be around you, when you bring that conversation up? I have no problem bringing that conversation up. I certainly understand, and we all have to understand, these people train for a long time in the subject area that they're practicing, and they are territorial. They don't want to give up uh, writing prescriptions for oxycodone. They just want you to take it and don't abuse it. But that's, this is what they do. This is their area. I, I, I totally get that, but if you get the opportunity to say, look, we're on the edge now, the cutting edge of, of really being able to do some good for a lot of people, I, you can talk to them. I really think you can talk to them. They may not go along with it, but there are people out there that can find in, in the world of primary care physicians that will write this stuff. And, you know, just be easy about it. They don't know what, she didn't know what she was writing. She didn't know what kind of strength she was asking for. She just said, for pain, be compassionate, and, and whatever. So you gotta let somebody who knows what they're doing. That's, that's it, I, no problem having that conversation with anybody. As a matter of fact, they probably would enjoy it, because probably they're all afraid to talk about it. Well, who here is in a similar boat? Yeah. People around the room? 
All right, so why don't we uh, why don't we thank Bob again? Let's get some people up here and get some ideas. Tonight.